Hello everybody, today I will show you how to practice your teeth with your wall at home. You only need a strong wall, nice neighbors and then you can start. So um, the benefit of the wall is you can practice now your the balance of your front teeth, you can practice the control of your weapon and also to train and focus on your fighting rhythm and to stay unpredictable and to integrate the teeth in these in this fight rhythm okay so let's start but first of all what kind of function has your front teeth okay your front teeth now you keep your opponent away with your front kick um, mostly it's a first strike or a final strike of your combination, is for sure. But it also can be a good instrument to check out the reflexes and the reaction of your opponent. Is the person somebody who plays with the distances, yeah, has a really, really good footwork? Is the person yeah, reacting really quick? Is the person not reacting? <laughs> on your strikes but also is a person somebody who wants to catch the teeth yeah so you can use the teeth also as yeah an instrument to check out what kind of reaction and reflexes your opponent has in the first seconds for example in your first round you are fighting um, and it's also a good instrument um, to keep up at a good safe distance and to calm down for example when you are nervous so you can just have the teeth and keep up safe and at safe distance yeah. it's also a good thing that you can combine for example the teeth and the jab and build up sometimes also fakes with the with, with the teeth yeah so there are some functions you can now practice on it at home and to think about and especially with the wall when your opponent is not an overrunner and you also are not an overrunner you can now train the balance in combination with a fight rhythm okay so i prefer for example the swinging fight rhythm it's a it's a good base to stay unpredictable yeah, when you're striking and it's a good ground, I would say, yeah, it's a good base now to train the balance of your front teeth because, you know, most of the challenging thing is to do the front teeth without an extra step, yeah. Um, I know this is really challenging, but all, always remember when you, when you, can do this yeah with the front tip and the balance it's not so easy to find out for the opponent that you are kicking with this yeah to read your body language because it's clear when you are kicking all the time with the back kick the person can read your body language easier than when you are striking for example with the front weapons yeah so always think about the benefits and it works, it's worth yeah, to train the front kick and the balance. So now when you swing, okay, and when we now want to train the balance on the wall, we can swing, have the fight rhythm, yeah, and focus now on keep up the knee and do straight strike with your feet in the wall, okay? So now it's for sure that you kick with the ball of the feet, yeah, um, not with the whole feet, and please don't <laughs> with your toes, okay? This, yeah, the wall has no feelings, so you kick with the ball of the foot and take care of the guard, okay? So you can also just have your gloves. So you don't forget your guard. Yeah, it's a good, also a good training. And you have the guard. 
yeah and from the swimming swinging on yeah you kick Another benefit of training your teeth on the wall is to check out your control of the teeth. Okay, because when you are going too hard, too much power, you will fall back. Okay, because the wall is stronger than you. And in this case, you can now focus now on when you are kicking, that you are kicking and take back your weapon. Okay. So when you are doing the balance, swinging and kicking, yeah, you can focus now on get your weapon back. Because sometimes when people just want to go really hard, they fall down, fall in front, they have no control of their weapons. So you always start a strike, but you also finish a strike. Okay? So now it's not the detail of being really, really powerful, but it's more to control your weapon. I will show you another stance. If you want to train more control of your teeth, you can also add, for example, a block after the teeth. So, I can kick and block. If you want you can add a block kick block everything for your balance and to think more about the control of your weapon okay so now you train the teeth isolated in the function to check out the reflexes and reactions of your opponent and you can now also add the jab which can also have the function to check out the reflexes of the guard yeah of your opponent so you can now train it together and build up some fakes you know um, just go easy it's more to to integrate or to combine both strikes yeah now in your fight rhythm so yeah don't punch now the wall yeah because the wall is harder than your hand and um, it's more about the technique now okay so you can just do a jab yeah deep combine everything back deep Yeah, you can also fake, just build up what you like, what's your style, okay? blocks with it, everything you want, okay? 
another form of the T you can frame with the wall is the sliding T. Yeah? So it's now not at the distance where you can just kick your opponent. You are maybe one step away from the position you trained actually. Okay? So you are in a really, really wide distance and want to go in a closer distance, but start with the tee. This is a, a, it's a good start, for example, when you did all the time the tee, and it was an easy tee, for example. Yeah? The opponent thinks like, it's not so hard. And then you can just start and go inside and slide with the tee and kick okay so that this kick has more power than this kick we we practice okay so um important is now to focus on the slide yeah sometimes i see people who do a kick and they are jumping like this okay now now then the wall is a really, really good indicator to stop these movements, okay? Because now we want to slide, we want, we want to go in the wall and not kicking off the wall or on the wall, okay? So just focus now on the slide. And when you're sliding, you do also the kick. So now the wall is a good benefit that you are really going like this and not like this. Okay? Not a curve, but a straight line. And then you are boring like with the kick forward. Bang! Yeah? And you can also stay unpredictable. And it's also like when you keep keeping all the time bit and go forward. Yeah, so now you can train more the quick ascents of this slide leading deep. <laughs> so when you are practicing now the sliding deep, think especially of your hips, the hip movement, because this is more the hip movement where I'm kicking now. Yeah, and from the sliding. From this sliding, I kick, okay, so with my teeth, with my front teeth. So it's more about, you can also use the swing to kick the sliding teeth. to hide it there. What, now you can combine. What do you want to do after the tip? Because you know, sometimes, yeah, you can use the tip to check the reaction. Okay. But you can also use it as an entree. Yeah, something you want to start now. And yeah, we can start, for example, and go inside with the clinch, for example, okay? You can go bam and elbow. So you can also practice now the chain stance elbow, okay? From the half distance or longer distance to the close distance. You can also train bam to ankle the person, yeah? The circle, to do a circle step. You can also train it with a combination of the circle. Jump and grab, for example, the head. Or you can 
go with the hook. Okay, so you can focus on different things. You can also block, or you can also kind of punch. Okay, just think about what you want to integrate and don't do too much. Just do in one home workout maybe two maximum two things you want to, to drill with it. Okay, so. This is, I think, um, a really important thing and question. What to do with the weapon? <laughs>